know, animals on black and white backgrounds seems like are able to show us a little bit more of their essence in a way. You look them in the eye, you know, have a lot of vegetation or mud or silt or whatever around them. So it really seems to get to the heart of what an animal's about. Black and white backgrounds are a great equalizer. You put an animal in here and it's every bit as magnificent as a polar bear or a tiger or an elephant. And it can be tiny, it can be a, it can be a fish, it can be an insect, it could be a mouse. So that's, that's why the black and white backgrounds as well, is that everything counts, everything has grace and beauty. What do you think of Makana, Joel? I think she's awesome. And the only one of her kind in captivity. This is a Rana Draytonii, the California red-legged frog. We photograph them and it takes just a few minutes. And then they're on board the photo arc as a representative of their species for, for all time.